All right, it's been a while since I gave you guys a full rundown of my mining farm. And I thought with the current state of the market, you guys might be interested in seeing what hardware I have up and mining currently, what coins I'm mining with it, and of course, how profitable that is. So that's what's coming up in this video after a quick word from our sponsor. Coin Mining Central is an online store for ASIC miners and there's no doubt that right now ASIC mining is by far looking like the most profitable type of mining and the miners that I'm personally most interested in right now would probably be the Bitmain L7 and E9 Pro as well as the Jazzminer X16Q. And what's cool about Coin Mining Central is that they always offer free worldwide express shipping and I've always felt fully comfortable recommending them to you guys and here's why. As opposed to most other ASIC vendors that are based overseas, Coin Mining Central is based and run out of England, Europe, where they have to adhere to the very strict regulations for customer support and personal detail protection that we have over here. And of course, all brand new miners come with a full manufacturer warranty as well. And because of this, Coin Mining Central has been a highly trusted ASIC miner store for miners like you and me for over five years at this point. They also care about this community being very active and reachable on social media. And they've also provided loads of exclusive discount codes for you guys that you can use together with the link in the video description to save big on any miner that you want to get. And speaking of prices, I don't know if you've noticed, but ASIC prices have been dropping dramatically these past few months. So right now could be a very good time to stock up on some cheap hardware before the crypto market recovers. Especially considering you get the already competitive pricing that Coin Mining Central has, plus the free worldwide shipping, plus the exclusive discount codes that I mentioned. So go check that out today. I'll have all of those discount codes and the exclusive link for you down in the video description. All right, so we're over here on the computer and I've obviously got a spreadsheet open, but I thought that I should just kind of preface this video by saying that compared to a lot of the other YouTubers you might see in the space, um, my mining farm is pretty modest. I don't have a huge mining farm and I also don't have like an insanely low power rate or anything like that. I actually have a pretty average power rate. So now with that said, let's hop over and have a look at this spreadsheet together. So this is the spreadsheet that I have made for myself. And as you can see here, I've got sort of what gear I have uh, actively mining right now, what coin it's mining, on which pool, and then of course my hash rate, my power consumption, and then obviously how much that is making me per day in revenue, what that's costing me in terms of power price, and then finally, you know what profit I'm left with after that. Now these numbers are actually all um, current numbers. It, it's automatically updating uh, every day because I am using some some formulas in here to kind of fetch data from uh, what to mine and hashrate.no, and I've also obviously entered my power cost, which is a little over 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, and yeah, as you can see here, I'm also actively fetching um, the uh, sort of profitability numbers for mining all of these different coins here. And that is what's sort of driving the numbers in my spreadsheet here. So let's just run through the list here, starting with my Bitmain L7, uh, which is uh, merge mining Litecoin and Dogecoin on Unminable. And as you guys know that are following the channel, um, I use Unminable a lot because I like stacking a lot of little bags of different coins and I'm currently using that to stack some Caspa. Um, that's not to say I think Caspa is gonna go to the moon or that this is financial advice or anything like that. It's just, I like having a little bit of everything when it comes to my, my coin holdings basically. Um, and currently that's Caspa. Um, yeah, hash rate, uh, I'm running this in low power mode as you can see. So I'm getting 6.5 giga hash at 2200 watts which is giving me a revenue of $9.37, power costing me about $6.63, leaving me with a $2.74 profit every day. So not too shabby at all. Um, the L7 has been a good moneymaker for me throughout most of this bear market, or well, all of this bear market, but I didn't have it at the beginning of the bear market. So moving on next, we have the Gasminer X16Q. Uh, which is just mining straight up ETC hash on unminable getting paid out in cash. Now, one thing I do wanna mention here is that I could potentially make more in terms of like dollar revenue with this if I were to mine something like Octaspace together with the Zilliqa on this. 
However, I made the decision to sacrifice a little bit of profit in order to be paid out in Casper with this. Um, because again, I wanna kind of build up little bags of everything. So that is what I'm doing with this. Um, yeah, you can see the hash rate wattage numbers there. And then revenue, um, $3.43. Power is only costing me $1.90 a day with the Jasminer X16Q. It's extremely power efficient, leaving me with about $1.53 in profit per day. Moving on, I have my two uh, older generation Jasminers, the X4Q and the X41U. Uh, again, these are both also mining um, Ethereum Classic on Unminable, getting paid out in Caspa, same as with the X16Q. And you can see the hash rate and wattage numbers there. And together they are bringing me a total profit of a, just under 60 cents there. Um, yeah, moving on, I have my four iPolo miners, which the first one, again, mining Ethereum Classic on Unminable and bringing in <laughs> um, a, a total staggering profit of four cents per day for me. But hey, every penny counts, right? Now, moving on, I have the sort of, I think it was one of the very first iPolos that came out, the um, Mini Classic Plus. And that one is actually mining Octaspace and Zilliqa on Crazy Pool. Same as with my two golden iPolo V1 Minis, they are also mining Octaspace and Zilliqa on Crazy Pools. Um, I kind of made that decision because they weren't even profitable mining Ethereum Classic on Unminable, um, at least at the time I was kind of changing things around. So that's when I kind of made the decision of, okay, I'll instead swap them over to stack some Octospace and Zilliqa, because who knows, again, I wanna stack many different bags of many different coins. So there you go, you can see the uh, V1 Mini Classic Plus is actually losing me one cent a day, however, if I were to go through the hassle of actually like transferring money to an exchange and then swapping that and buying Octospace and Silica, it, it would definitely cost me more in like bank transaction fees and exchange fees and yeah, just like coin transaction fees than what I'm losing here in terms of one cent per day um, just mining it. So yeah, is it technically not profitable? Sure, but it would be even less profitable for me to buy these coins and it's kind of being made up by the fact that I am making a total of 28 cents um, with the two golden eye polos there. So, you know, as a whole, it is still making me um, 27 cents per day on these three miners. And of course, that's not to say, you know, like depending on how you look at it. Yeah, it's that's the profit, but I'm gaining, you know, what would this be two dollars and something in actual revenue and actual crypto holdings so that's what i'm looking at finally for my active asics i of course have my ice river ks0 um, i will have a full kind of dedicated update video to that one uh, coming out but that one is just straight up mining caspa on the hero miners pool you can see the hash rate the wattage and yeah it's still bringing in this is so impressive to me though that um, of course it, it was extremely profitable for a while uh, when we first got them but you know still for a however much it costs now um, it's about as profitable as the Jasminer X16Q just slightly less profitable and it's a little box that pulls 65 watts it's an impressive little miner in my opinion as you can see a dollar 21 per day so in total for my, I guess, ASIC mining farm, uh, the ASIC portion of my mining farm, I'm bringing in about $20 worth of crypto per day, and I'm paying a little under $14 in power every day. Um, so my profit is $6.36 per day. Now, obviously, not a huge amount, right? But also, that is $6.36 of basically free crypto that I am acquiring right now during this bear market. And that's not nothing like, you know, depending on sort of how you look at things that could turn into a lot. And, you know, depending on how you think the market is going to move and if there's going to be another bull market. But, 
just looking at it for what it is that's three uh, sorry that's six dollars and 36 cents per day uh, of free crypto times that by 30 days a month you know it's slightly under 200 dollars of free money basically every month to me that's worth it um and also of course i it's fun mining is fun so yeah you get free money and it's fun <laughs> moving on uh, i of course also have my sort of cpu and gpu mining rigs my that side of my mining farm and this is where i think a lot of you guys will be shocked because if we have a look at this i'm actually currently only mining on a single CPU and a single GPU and it is the ones that I've got behind me here and that is because for those of you who have been following my channel for a while I'm in the process of selling all well pretty much all of my GPUs in sort of a, an effort I'm doing right now of uniform like making my mining farm super uniform uh, buying a lot more efficient mining hardware both some ASICs and of course other GPUs and some CPU rigs as well because I bought most if not all of my mining hardware during the bull run which means you just sort of grabbed whatever you could and you didn't care what you were paying for it and that means I ended up with a bunch of everything from 1660 supers to 3080 ti's to a random 3090 and i think i had a 1650 super anyway i've been slowly selling off all of that waiting to get good offers for everything and then i've just been sort of reinvesting that into other mining hardware which i will share with you guys of what i've been buying and why and what my thought process is on that but that's a little bit of a rant, sorry about that. We're looking at what I'm mining and how much that's making me. So let's hop on over to the spreadsheet again here. I have my 39X um, CPU, that's mining Raptorium. Uh, I know that isn't the most profitable coin you could be mining, um, but I wanted to stack a bit of Raptorium, so that is what I'm doing. Uh, that's on Raptorium zone. And yeah, you can see my hash rate, my wattage here. And yeah, that is losing me about three cents per day. Um, again, of course, if I were to be trying to buy this coin every day, I would lose more than that in terms of transaction fees and exchange fees. So it doesn't matter to me that much. Then I have my single 3070 here, which I am triple coin mining on. I did put out a video on that very recently. I actually have two videos, one that goes in depth on how triple coin mining works. And then I had an update video on this new triple coin mining combination that I was doing, which is um, still, I believe, the most profitable triple coin mining setup that you can do on your GPUs. So I'm mining Ergo, Alephium and Zilliqa. And I'm mining both Ergo and Alephium 2 unminable to get paid out in Caspa, just like I were with some of my ASICs, and then Zilliqa on Crazy Pool. And you can see my hash rates for the different sort of coin algorithms there, the total wattage for the GPU there, and then finally the revenue for each of these three coins. Uh, that adds up to 33 cents, I believe, which adds up to 33 cents. And then, of course, it is using 34 cents in power, which means I am losing about one cent in terms of profit on this one GPU. Now, it seems to be adding up wrong here, but that's obviously because there are just more decimals here that it aren't showing. So there you go. But there you have it, that's what I'm mining on right now, what I'm mining with it and how much that is making me. So please subscribe for more mining videos like this one and over there on the side are some other videos that you can click to watch next. So yeah, see you there.